Hey, it's been a couple of weeks since um, I did anything. I've been super busy. I uh, had a lot going on with work and, you know, life. So, anyway, I uh, thought I'd do a quick video because I haven't posted one in a little while. And moving me forward, um, it's going to be a couple, this next couple of months are really busy. So, I'm trying to find time when I can get back to this and, you know. Uh, but anyway, uh, I've got set up out here. Okay, so I've got a little tray and I've got some bolts and stuff from this top cap. And basically I painted this one. It's been out for a while. So anyway, um, painted that guy. I think it looks pretty good. There's a couple little places, you know, it's old. It's not going to look brand new. But it does clean it up some and... Anyway, uh, so basically I've got this other cow and you know I can I can look back at the videos or uh, whatever I want to do there but I mean it give me a reference for how this went back together because um, you know it's been a few weeks since I messed with it so anyway <clears throat> I'm just going to turn mine over and you know, so one of the things, like, uh, okay, so this bracket in the back is going to go here, and there's two bolts, and I have those two bolts, and then this one's for this bolt, which is, and I'll pull this over here, is that bolt, and then there's a spring that goes in there that uh, I believe acts as a pinion. Here's the spring, um, and uh, we'll have to just figure out how the spring goes. There's a little hole right here, so I think it just kind of goes in. And like so, and then this goes up against the body so and, you know, the old one obviously doesn't have the so if it went anyway it would be the opposite direction sorry just trying to figure this out so if you think about it and you got that hole you know which way would this be against so the spring is going to be like this so I'm thinking If it's so if it's like this, I don't know, it's probably putting tension. If it, which I think that's the way it goes. I think it goes like this. So the spring kind of rolls even like that. And then goes against the housing.
I have to look at the diagrams. Put it together and see if it's actually springing. Try this again. Alright, I'm getting closer to figuring it out. This is what happens when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Can't bring her out, it went together. So, I don't know. Right now I have it like this. So it's got to come up and rest on something. Maybe to give it some spring-loaded action. So, let's see if this helps. Definitely pressure now. Okay, figured it out. Let's go ahead and tighten it down. So, there's a little hole. The spring goes this way and it kind of wraps around the little end piece here. 
and then that sets in an insert and then the spring comes back and lands on this and then you just tie her down Alright, there's that. And then we've got this guy. Let's see how this goes again. Alright, so I can look back at my other one. And it goes in like that. Like that and there should be three three screws so I got in my tray my other tray I got these three screws so I'll just need a screwdriver And then lastly is this piece and uh, we can look at the other one but I know it goes all right so sorry I guess I bought that these screws go in and that mounts that plate and then we've got this and if we look at our old one so this is gonna go like that And I got two bolts for this. I didn't get too crazy with making this look just like perfect as far as the cow. I just wanted to clean it up, kind of experiment really with that paint. Now that I know that paint is really good, you know. But this is a 72, 72, 74, I don't know. You can't really tell by the numbers. That's uh, it's, it's probably 71, I guess. There's a bunch of these. Anyway, so yeah, so this is back together now. Yeah, anyway, cool.
Pusumuz da So I got that piece is left for for my other cow. That's pretty much about did it.